The middleweight contender tournament at Glory 20 Dubai is to determine the next challenger for the World Middleweight Championship. Four men are going to enter the ring, but only one can emerge triumphant and he will go forward to challenge Artem the Lion Levin. Are you ready for glory? Here is Simon Bad Boy Marcus! Listen, Simon Marcus is a guy who, first of all, let's just start with what the basics are. You want to talk about a guy who passes the eye test. I mean, he is a physical specimen. Yeah. Yeah. Second of all, a guy who has had another decorated career in Muay Thai rules. Yeah. A true blue Muay Thai practitioner. Now, the question is, can he rebound? You know, Simon Marcus has all the skills in the world, but he has to continue to adapt him to win a glory, and we know that because he didn't have a lot of success against Joe Schilling. These are the kinds of knockouts that stay with you. These are the kinds of knockouts that some guys are able to move on past and some guys aren't. And the question for Simon Marcus is, is he ready to move on? I definitely feel that was the fight of the year. It was a battle, it was a war. We both came out hurt, we both gave it our all. People can expect that from me every time I step in the ring. I think moving forward, people are gonna see a lot more of that from me. You're gonna see domination and you're gonna see great fights, exciting and uh, warrior spirit every time. And Marcus has to take on Wayne Barrett. It's, it's a tough match for him. Marcus obviously loves the clinch and we know the glory rules. The clinch is not allowed, nor are elbows. Those are two very, very strong points of Simon Marcus's game that are stripped from him in competition. So he's gonna have to rely on, on his stand-up, on his boxing, with, minus the clinch, it's very difficult. Against a guy like Barrett that can be unorthodox and has knockout power. So it's a tough matchup for him. Wayne Barrett, a uh, good fighter. I have respect for him. He's Jamaican like me, but at the same time, once I step in the ring, I don't care who the guy is. I'm coming. I'm coming forward and I'm coming for the belt. He fights tonight out of New York City, USA. Please welcome Wayne Barrett. Yeah, Wayne Barrett, one of the uh, brighter American stars. The real key to understanding Wayne Barrett is, one, he's got a ton of charisma, uh, obviously a very bright guy too, but more than that, he just brings a slightly tweaked, unorthodox skill set. So he can kickbox with you to the extent that he needs to, but he's found a lot of success because he just has really polished boxing for kickboxing standards. Wayne Barrett is one of the trickiest guys in the middleweight division. He's got a very unorthodox kickboxing game, but he also has very solid boxing fundamentals. He's a one-time Golden Gloves amateur boxing champion, so he brings really good hands into his kickboxing game. But he also has a karate base, so he has a slightly unusual style of movement, and that can give opponents a lot of problems. I would expect Barrett to really come on fire here and try to get the quick knockout. I think Barrett, coming off that loss, maybe took a slice of humble pie and kind of looked at himself and looked at his career. Maybe he got a little too far ahead too soon because of the upset over Joe Schilling and, and Glory 12 in New York. So I think we, we'll see probably the most focused Wayne Barrett at this fight. You know, Barrett has proven he belongs on this stage. He belongs in glory. He belongs competing against the best middleweights in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jason Tyson Wilder. Jason Wilness is a guy that is young, has a ton of experience, and was not favored, and probably went into Glory 18 with a huge chip on his shoulder, and it certainly showed. I was training more harder, and uh, I was more uh, clearly in my head. You know, I, uh, I put things away so I can uh, focus on uh, the fight more, and uh, it helped me, and uh, of course I was uh, more sharper than uh, the other fights because uh, I had two losses in glory and uh, I was like, I, I don't want to lose again. Jason Wilness is the classic Dutch style kickboxer. He comes forward with hard hand combinations, finishes on a low kick, chops away at the leg constantly. He's always in your face, always piling the pressure on. Jason Wilness is a very legitimate competitor. I don't think he has any one single weapon that you point to, but he's got a great overall arsenal. He does a lot of things really well, and if he can consistently apply them, the results speak for themselves. 
So right now I'm very uh, relaxed and uh, just chilled. But uh, one minute before the fight, then I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of a beast. He's got powerful hands, man. There's just no denying Alex Pereira on that level. Powerful fight ending, touch you, you sit down kind of power with his books. But, as we also know, this is a bit of a rematch, isn't it? Alex Pereira and Jason Wilnes have fought once before, back in 2012. Jason Wilnes won that fight by way of stoppage. He took Alex apart with leg kicks. But Pereira's game has improved massively since then, and he's coming into this tournament looking for revenge. He looked outstanding in the Glory 14 Contender Tournament which got him a shot in the, the Glory Last Man Standing tournament. Uh, Pereira had a tough draw right off the bat, had to take on arguably the best middleweight kickboxer on earth in Artem Levin. Really struggled with Levin, but could be a very good learning experience from him. But the talent is still there. He still has excellent power. And not only that, he has the longest reach in the division, which is a huge advantage against anyone he faces. I would expect him to be one of the favorites in this competition. So he's a guy to definitely keep your eye on the Glory 20 tournament for sure.